What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. I didn't plan on doing this one, but a lot of people were asking me because I have done Gundogan again uh, before, but I have done the rest of this pack, so I said, feck it, I might as well just complete it and do Gundogan here because he is a monster, lads. I thought I did um, kind of say that when I was doing the review and I did a fairly in-depth guide to him, but this is just going to be a short and sweet video. Uh, as usual in this uh, guide series that we do do so if you are watching this when the pack is 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 kind of like finished lads my breath oh my throat if you are watching this when the pack is over um i will try and upload it on the saturday the 8th so there'll be one day left in this right i think he's probably one of the best uh center midfielders in the game but i think where he really comes into his own is as an attacking midfielder now he can't play as attacking midfielder for his as a primary role but you're going to have to manually just, you know, move him forward as close to the center forward position as you possibly can while still keeping him as a center midfielder. And then what I would do because he's a whole player is I would go into inv individual instructions and I would put counter target on him because I want to use him as a CMF, which means I'm going to have a three man midfield. I'm going to have a DMF. I'm going to have a CMF and I'm going to have another CMF that's going to really be a counter target AMF, right? Because of the stats that Gundogan has, which are absolutely insane when we're looking at him here. He has one touch pass. He's got long range uh, curler. He's also got outside curler, weighted pass, true passing, heel trick and double touch. So he's a bit of a baller, lads we know how to play with him we know that he's going to be an absolute monster with that whole player play style which is the most overpowered play style at the moment for midfield players in that position in my opinion and this is how we're going to train him right right so the first version of him that we're going to look at here is just kind of your traditional amf right masquerading as a cmf right so we don't really need to spend too much on anything but dribbling and passing right shooting is you know we can keep things honest with shooting here if you want to I would probably keep the shooting at around 80 if you could. That's going to give you a lot of different animations when you are kicking the ball. If you get the space, such as stunning shots and that. And it does make a difference if it's 80 compared to 79 because of the cutoffs to the attributes and the gaps. Or the, the what's not the word, not the gaps, the caps, the caps. Yeah, that's it. So this guy has long range drive and he's also got heel trick, cut behind and turn and one touch pass. So you've got everything. You've got dribbling, passing and shooting uh, skills so as an amf type player you just want to be getting the ball in or into those little pockets of space and being able to distribute it so 90 tight possession 95 ball control 90 low pass 80 finishing and 78 acceleration with 84 stamina and 83 offensive awareness is quite good we're going to ignore everything else in this card it's a very simple card to train up he goes to 93 overall from here and you're going to be dependent on your skill as a an amf in the whole type player to be taking shots on with this guy i would not recommend uh Gundogan if you are not good at shooting from long distance right and i'm not talking about shooting from scoring i'm talking about shooting so that you get rebounds so you get corners so you get free kicks stuff like that when your opponent is trying to stop you because most people try to walk the ball into the net um which you can use to your advantage next up if you are struggling to kind of get him to stay as an attacking midfielder I would maximize his dexterity, which is going to mean that you're going to have uh, 90 offensive awareness, 85 acceleration and balance, and then you're going to have 80 dribbling, 85 tight possession, and still have 87 passing. So this player is going to have a little less in passing, dribbling, and finishing, but you're going to be able to manually do a lot of that stuff yourself, especially uh, aided by the player skills that you have here. With one touch pass, that's going to boost up his passing. You've also got outside curler for the shooting, that's going to boost that. And then for dribbling, you've got double touch, which is all you really need in the little pockets of space, right? So that is how I would train him. I've also pumped four in here to defend and to get that aggression up as well, that you're going to kind of like press up as much as you possibly can. But if you are able to press manually um, and you don't kind of like... Uh, like or else you don't like playing that way you can also reduce that and pump either one more into dexterity or else you can pump three more into finishing to bring it up to 78 that does depend on how you want to train him or else of course you can put two into dribbling as well um to bring that up to 80 or to 92 ball control which is big and 80 uh, seven into tight possession so this german pack here that they released is pretty much identical so if you have spun this one you can train him and you haven't trained him yet you can train him in an identical way here um the only difference between this card the german pack and the man city pack that they release is the fact that this germany card has two uh plus two on low pass and minus three on ball control so he's just more of a passer everything else is identical but this guy has got 32 levels compared to the german pack which is 28 so this one is actually the best version that they have released of him um so far so that is it for me lads i'll be back later don't forget to subscribe and peace